So you've been working for the last four months on a deep dive into the human nervous system this is for true. this nerve project. And you're going to be presenting some of your findings at Eric's upcoming workshop in Oklahoma City this summer. I can't can stop thinking about it. I'm like, ooh, I can show this to Eric's peeps. Ooh, I can show <laughs> this to Eric's peeps. <laughs> Fantastic. We're, we're looking forward to it. But can you tell us a little bit about the, um, the NERV project and the inspiration behind it? I'd say the inspiration was an image that I saw maybe 25 years ago of a dissection that was done at the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine in Kirksville, Missouri, the original osteopathic school. And in 1925, two medical students there were approached by a couple of professors who admired the good job they did on an arm in terms of the nerves. And they said, why don't you do that to the whole body? And so they they were given a cadaver and they spent this two, these two students spent 1500 hours doing what remains to be since that point, the most detailed individual dissection of a nerve tree uh, ever to be done. I've never seen anything even remotely comparable to it. And this thing got you know, preserved on a and lacquered onto a giant board, and it looks like a cloud. It looks like just a cloud. It's the original cloud <laughs> network. Um, it's this cl the cloud of nerves of this human form, and it it traveled around the country for several years and was greatly admired uh, as it should be today. So I saw that and I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> you know? And uh, 25 years later, I realized I, can't, I still can't do that because I would need several years in a lab rather than several months to accomplish what they did. Uh, and, and also what I realized wasn't done there. I mean, there's a great wow factor when you see this, the, see this image, but there's no process and you can't connect it to anything. And I'm an integral anatomist and I want to see the process and the relationships. I want to document the process and the relationships. So that's what I've been doing. And I just sort of set myself a block of time that I was able to get in the lab and, and to do as best as I could in that time frame, you know, documenting from an integral perspective, the relationship of that tree to the tissues in which it's embedded. And, and it's been a, it's been a eye-opening experience. Uh -huh.